Hi everyone, it's Bianca from the Ben Space Club. Hey, it's Taylor from Taylor Made Bar. Today we're filming a really nice 30 minute full body workout. If you've got a resistance band, go ahead and catch a hold of it. We're working with the purple medium bands to add intensity in this workout. Cool. You've got the band around your wrist. We're gonna stretch our arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Have a large breath in for yourself, maybe look up there at your fingertips, and then take a slow fold coming all the way down and forwards. We bend our knees a bit at your own tempo, reach your arms back up overhead, and just setting ourselves up for the tough workout that's coming, we're going to take one more large breath in, reach your arms up, a little stretch on your band, and start to take that hinge back down. Right guys, this time we're going to be holding at the top, long spine, little pressure on the band. We're going to start by raising up the right knee. Raise up your right knee and your left. So we're going to start a little march, starting to already activate the muscles through your core, through your thighs. And the more you press your hands into that band, a little bit more activation for your shoulders as well. Keep lifting your knees up high in the front. Let's just add a little chop. Your arms go chop and chop. So you're going to press down your hands, keeping the tension tight on the bend, raising your knees up high in the front, and rotating with your upper body a little bit from side to side. Keep on lifting your knees as high as you can in the front. Just straight away start to feel. Okay, your heart rate's going up a bit. Your body temperature is raising up a bit. And so we're going to stop with both feet down, stretch your arms up. Big knee bend and stretch again. Big knee bend and stretch. Reach your arms forward towards us. Try to keep a little tension there on the resistance bend. And try to put most of your weight back there into your heels. We stretch and we sink. Have a quick check for yourself. Are your knees staying back behind your toes? So you want to make sure those knees stay back behind the toes and your hips sink a little lower. All right, guys. Next time, let's go hold it down at the bottom. We're going to start to walk our heels. The right heel and the left one. So you're raising your heels up high and you're just shifting your weight a little bit from side to side. If you're already feeling good, come on sinking down a little lower, but you can always come up a bit higher, back off a bit here. We're just gonna lift like this for three more. For two, on the one, stretch your arms back overhead. Let's take a side stretch, reaching both arms over. Big breath, reach a little further. Coming back to the center. Second side, reach over. Feel that nice long stretch on the side of your body. Reach a little further. Coming back to the center, we're gonna march again, yeah? We're gonna try to touch the band to your knees. So we're making a chop straight in the front. This time, start to activate your core, your abs. We're working a bit more, so you really go pull and pull. Thinking about taking the bones of your ribs a little closer to the bones of your hips. You're really going crunch, crunch. Nice, guys, we're just here on the march for three more, or two. On the one, Woo, nice little shake out. Should be feeling warmer already. Yes. We're gonna move the resistance band now, stepping both of your feet into it and raising it up a little bit higher than your knees. Once you're there, your feet are a little bit wider than hip distance apart. We're coming back into that chair position, this time stretching your arms up towards the ceiling. Let's start to pulse it down a little lower. So you're starting to add some more challenge, some more burn here. Arms are stretching up. Bianca's always also going to show us an option to press the hands together. So if you start to feel tired, you can follow along with what she's doing, pressing your hands tight, or you can stay with your arms stretching out towards me and trying to sink with your hips down, a little lower in the back, guys. We're going to stay with these pulses together for four, for three, for two. Let's hold it low. Bring your hands in front of your chest. <laughs> We're going to press the palms straight to the back. Go press and low, go press, and low. Right, so you've got the basic setup. Arms are pushing behind you, opening your chest and shoulders, squeezing your bum as you stand. We're just gonna start to add our legs, lifting the right leg out, press it out, and down, left leg out, and down. So just alternating those presses, pushing wide and center, bending your knees in the center, pushing your palms to the back, stretching your leg to the side, so you're really stretching that band as much as you can both directions. We press and we lower. Nearly there. Three more pushes back. Last two. On the one, let's meet again. Low at the bottom, hands together, or maybe stretch out in front. Both heels this time. You raise them up, you lower down. So you're gonna test your balance. Play with it a little bit. 
Seeing if you can come to your tippy toes. Raising up your heels as high as you can and rolling back through the balls of your feet, tapping your heels back down to the floor. Keep those heel lifts coming, keeping your knees bent as much as you can. We're burning together with you for three more. Lift those heels higher for two more. And the last one, coming back up to the top. <laughs> nice work, guys. Take a little shake again. Step your feet just a little wider out to the side. We're gonna start by sending one leg 45 degrees to the back at the diagonal. Hands are coming around to the front. Start to lift and tap, lift and tap. So we start to activate a little bit more our glutes. We're targeting the side of the bum. You're keeping your knee as straight as you can as you raise it up and back. And then you barely tap your toes to the floor. So try to shift a bit more of your weight over here onto your standing leg. And once you feel you've got a nice balance over here, keep your foot raised up in the back. We are only just gonna pulse pressing out into that band. If you need to, catch a hold of a chair, catch a hold of a table, catch a hold of your friend, and use them for a bit of extra stability as your foot is pressing out and pressing backwards. We're just gonna stay with those lifts, pushing towards the corner for four, for three, for two, on the one, take your toes, slide them over here to the side. Now we're gonna press to the back, to the side. One back, one side. So you're using your hands here in the front to give yourself a bit more stability. Pressing your palms strong together, soft bend on your standing knee. And Bianca, are you starting to feel the side of your bum working? <laughs> Super, we hope you guys are feeling it too. So we're almost done working on this first side. We're gonna keep the toes at the back. Hold them there. Two taps, lift, squeeze. Down, down, and up. So you tap the floor twice. Tight squeeze, tight stretch. Go down and squeeze. Keep it simple. Maybe you want to go faster. Maybe you want to go slower. But make sure you get two taps to the floor. One tight squeeze in the back. Just three more rides. Just two. On the last one, hold it up. Hold the stretch on the band. Find your balance. Maybe swing your arms all around wherever you need to go. Lift your heel higher in the back and stay with us for four, for three, for two. Woo! First time done. Set that down. Have your shake. Maybe you want to grab a quick sip of water because we're going straight away on the second side. You know what to do. You're going to press into your standing foot. Take the other leg. Press it 45 degrees behind you. Lean your chest to the front. We start by finding our balance. Little lift, little tap. Little lift, little tap. You know as always, you can choose your own speed, your own tempo, but what you're looking for over here is a nice strong balance on your standing leg and a real big squeeze over here on the side of your bum each time your heel pops up in the back. We're getting ready to test our balance even more. So just take three more lifts and a tap, two more, Guys, look at something that's not moving. Find your focus. Your foot is off the floor. Just pulse it up and up. Press your palms together. Try to keep squeezing that side bum, engaging through the side, lifting up your heel. We should feel a little shake is happening right over there on the ledge. Hold on to that shake. Keep on raising your heel higher in the back, testing your balance just for four, just for three, Higher for two, on the one. We tap to the side and to the back. Little semicircles on the floor. And now over here, guys, on the second side, you should be feeling even more burn oh than you did <laughs> on side number one. But stay with us, we're feeling it as well. Trying to keep the tension, trying to keep the separation on that resistance band. We only have one more tough change left on this side. So take your foot to the back, leave it right there. Two taps, one squeeze. Down, down and up. Go tap, tap and lift. To the floor, squeeze tighter. So you wanna make sure you're getting those two light taps with your toes. One big squeeze on that side bum. Going down, raising up. Pressing your hands together to help you out with your stability. Leaning your chest a bit forward. Pressing to that standing foot. We just have two. On the last one, hold the tension, hold the stretch. Can you raise your heel just a little higher for four, for three, for two. Whoo! On the one, set it down. Great, guys. We're going to flush that out a bit. So go ahead and reach down. 
Step both of your feet out of the resistance band. Toss that band off to the side. You don't need it for now. You're gonna step your feet into a plie position. Toes turn neck. Start to bend your knees. We're passing our knees over the second and the third toe. Tailbone is tucking under. And let's go ahead and stretch our arms in the front. Now, as you stand up, we're gonna take your elbows, pull them back, reach forwards. One pull, one stretch. So you're gonna squeeze in between your shoulder blades, pull those elbows back behind you, press into your heels, and start to see if you can come a little lower together with us. Coming high, real low. Pulling back, stretching forwards. So we're moving our legs, we're moving our arms, we're working on a nice posture with the upper body. Next time, guys, let's hold it at the bottom. Stretch your arms in front. Tiny little pulses over here in our plie position. So you want to check it out for yourself. Knees are turned over the second and third toe. Inner thighs are engaging. Shoulders directly over your hips. Tailbone is tucking under towards the floor. And your core is engaged over here in the front. Let's keep pulsing just for four, three, two, Take your elbows, tuck them tight to your side. Reach up with your right arm. Reach up with your left arm. So let's alternate. You're stretching your arm up overhead. You're coming from that low position to a high position. So again, we're trying to keep our body temperature lifted up. We're trying to keep our heart rate lifted here. We're trying to move really large. So you're taking up a lot of space as you reach with your arm and as you bend with your knees. Let's do three more here. Last two. On the one, meet us at the bottom. Just your arms, right arm and left. So your legs are like a statue. Hold the legs still. Concentrate now. Your arms are moving big. Reach like you're trying to catch a hold of something and then grab it and pull it back towards you. Are your knees still bent? Are you staying low? Hold on to that pressure on your thighs while you keep on reaching and grabbing with your arms. Just two more, guys. On the last one, one more time, let's move large. Circle the arms, tap your fingers, and pull. One tap, one pull. Now, we're almost done with the standing section of our workouts. I've got one more balance challenge for you guys, and then Bianca's gonna take over for a bit of core and stretching on the floor. So next time, when you stand up, let's stay at the top. Reach your arms to the ceiling. Start to walk your heels a little bit closer together. Once your heels are tight, right toes sliding forward. Core is switched on, long spine over here. Start to raise up your right foot and lightly tap it back down to the floor. Soft bend is there on your left knee. We're really engaging our core as we squeeze over here on the right thigh to pop your toes up and down. One more time, and we're gonna hold the right foot off the floor. Little pulses, little lifts up, up. Whoo, that should really burn. You're keeping your spine on, you're keeping the squeeze of your right thigh for four, for three, for, we're not done, hold it right there. Maybe your toes can go higher, shake, shake for three, for two, and set your right foot on the floor. Quick shake, and we just have the left side before we take it down to the mat. Your heels are together, your spine is long, your fingers are stretching up overhead. Your left toes are sliding to the front. Super straight left knee, raise your leg up and down, up and down. So you're squeezing on your thigh as tight as you can. You're trying to keep a nice posture. So if you take your fingers here, you should feel all the muscles to the center of your core are really switched on as you raise your toes high. Guys, next time, let's do it. Strong finish, toes are up off the floor. Little pulses. The height is not important, just that constant tension, that constant pressure that you're building through your thigh, and you're working on improving your balance. We stay with the toes lifted high, chest for six, five. You know it's not the end, so get ready, get set. Lift your leg just a little higher. Stay there for four, for three, for two, and on one, let your leg fall back down to the floor. When you've got a mat at home, go ahead and catch a hold of that mat as we're getting ready to transition for the floor section next. So, okay, we're ready to do core and stretching. We just did a nice workout with Taylor, so our legs and our booty is burning. So we're gonna start down on the ground, tabletop position. Plant your palms, spread your fingers, relax your feet. Straight leg, relax your shoulders away from your ears. 
And we're going to start with the super babe. I call this one super babe. Lift your right arm up, left leg goes back. Now find your balance. It's like you're floating. Yeah, you're flying and you're a super babe. All right, find your balance. Keep your hips straight, so don't go all the way like this. You want to have a straight line. We're gonna play a little bit here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring your elbow to knee. Small. Inhale. And exhale. We want to keep this really nice, slow and controlled to feel the burn. Let's do four more. Three more. So inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, last one. Inhale. Exhale. And then we come back. Super big. Hold it. So we're going to tap with the fingers and the toes, the ground. Tap and we come up. Tap. Up. Very good. Tap. Up. How are we doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> also feel the arm. <laughs> Can't talk. <laughs> Very concentrated here. All right, very good. Just follow along. We do five, four, three, two, last one, and hold it. All right, we come back tabletop position, stretching out a little bit for child's pose here. Relax your shoulders, yes. Take a deep, big inhale. And exhale, we come back tabletop position. We're not ready yet. So we're gonna turn over to the side. So we're gonna lean on the left arm here. So we stay on the knees as we come up. Side plank, make sure your shoulder is away from the ear. Oh, and let's keep the hand on the hip here for a little moment. Lift the arm up, lift your leg up. All right, we're going for some side crunches. There we go. Knee to elbow. One, two. We go for ten. Three, four. Very good. Five, reach. Four. Again, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, hold it up here. Yes, reach with your arm all the way to the ceiling. Hold your leg up. Very good. Point your toes towards you. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Engage your core. Are you good, Taylor? Whew. Very good. Five, four, three, two, one. And slowly we come back down. All right, let's turn around again. Take it to the position. Maybe shake your arms a little bit and your wrist. Yes. How do you feel in your wrist? I feel okay. my shoulder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do the same, but then on the other side. So we come back, tabletop position. So we're going to start lifting up the left arm, right leg, super babe. Here she is. <laughs> Find your balance. Keep the hips straight. And there we go. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Bring your elbow to knee. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, very good. Inhale, reach, exhale, small. Make it big and very small. Four, three, two, and your last one. Inhale, exhale, and there we go. Super babe, hold it here. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna tap down. Up, down, up, down, up. Very good. Keep breathing. Stay strong. Let's do five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. All right. Let's come back. Stretch it out a little bit. Child's pose. Woo and then we're going to turn to the side plank. Turn to your side. Make sure your shoulders are away from the ear. We come up on the knee, arms coming up. Lift your leg. And then we go for the crunch. Bring your elbow to knee. Up. 
in, out. Use your breath again. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Very good. You're feeling your arm. It's really good balance. Very good. Three, two, last one. All right, let's hold it. Reach all the way up, press away from the ground, hold it, hold it, hold it. Very good. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly drop it down. Turn around. All right, and shake your wrist again if you want to. This is really hard work. It looks easy, but it's really difficult. All right, very good. Let's come into a low plank. So, your underarm on the ground, and then we're going to straighten the legs all the way back very good press away from the ground here so this is the hip shake so we're gonna move one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hold <laughs> all right another round ten are you ready there we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. All right. How are you doing? How are you doing, Taylor? <laughs> All right. Let's drop the knees first, and then slowly we go down on the ground. All right. Relax a little bit. Shake your legs. <laughs> this is the fun part. We're gonna stretch. Yeah, we did a lot of hard work. So now we're gonna stretch. You deserve a nice treat after your workout. All right. Plant your palms again. Roll your shoulders back. Let's come up high plank. And from here, press it back to downward dog. Now let's stretch your legs. Just walk your dog. One knee bend, one knee straight, whatever feels good for you. Relax your shoulders, maybe shake your head a little bit. Okay. So we're moving into a low lunge. You're gonna lift the right leg up. Look at your hands. And then we're going for a big step all the way to the front. Try to get your feet just between your fingers, your hands. Very good. Roll your shoulders down and slowly come up. Hands on your knees. Okay, so we're going for a more relaxing style now. So it's more easy. Heart rate's going down. You really are feeling all the muscles working for you. Okay, so we're here in low lunge. Now let's drop the arms down, relax your fingers, your shoulders, long neck, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. And then we're gonna fold the hands together behind your back. All right, lift your chest, lift your heart, look up, inhale. And exhale, look forward again. Unfold your hands, plant them back on the ground. And now we're gonna step back. So first step is lift your back leg here, and then one, two, three, step back to downward dog. And then again, if you want to pedal, we just move a little bit. That's fine. Over to the left side, lift your left leg up, inhale. Look at the hands, exhale, step forward. Big step, drop your knee down, relax your shoulders, look up. And then we start here with your hands on your knees. Very good, relax your shoulders. Feeling the stretch here in the hips. Make sure you're not leaning into the back. So you want to keep your chest lifted. Not like this, maybe it's painful also. So we don't want that. Arms down. Inhale, arms up, reaching all the way up. Exhale, arms go down. Hands behind your back. Very good, lift your chest, roll your shoulders down. Inhale, look up. 
exhale, look forward. And again, I'll fold your hands, plant them back on the ground. And there we go, stepping back to downward dog. Lift your back leg in, one, two, three, step back. And we're in downward dog. Enjoy this moment. Really feeling the stretch. So we are gonna transition to sitting position. So crush your feet in the middle. And then just roll down. So we're sitting nice and relaxed. Good, drop your knees down. Lift your footy off the ground. Relax your shoulders, hands on your knees. Rolling the head, small circles. And did you have a good workout, Taylor? Yeah, super did nice. Did you enjoy it? Very nice. Good. I hope you enjoyed it also. So we did a total body session for you. Let's turn the other side. Okay, one more big round. Very good, now lift your head, look forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands together, take them down. And then we want to thank you for this moment. Thank you for joining us, thank you Taylor. Thank you Bianca. Thank you. Uh, we hope to see you again, of course. To see us in one of our workouts or maybe come to the studio. And we end, we end with Namaste, thank you very much and have a nice evening or day. Bye. Thanks so much for joining. If you'd like to do some more workout videos with me, you can find more great content on my Instagram, taylormadebar, and also on my website, taylormadebar.com. Hope to see you soon. En mocht je nou zin hebben in meer, dan kun je natuurlijk een kijkje gaan nemen op de Best Babs Club, dus www.bestbabsclub.nl voor meer video's die je thuis kan volgen. En ook deze set met resistant bands. Dus ga het even bekijken, www.bettebetsclub.nl